Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, October 26, 2022. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. Comfortably, just taking a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, noticing how the body expands. As you breathe out, just watching the body soften as you gently close the eyes. And rather than the mind leading the breath, allow the breath to lead the mind. Notice the sensation of the breath. These brain breaks sure are helpful. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Alexander, do you have the notes for science? Yeah, I do. Oh, thank you. I didn't really understand it because it was sort of an obscure topic. I can see how a lot of people found it hard to understand. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm not the only one who didn't understand the obscure topic. Yeah, don't worry. See, see you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the day. day. Thanks for that great new word. This segment never fails to help me learn. Now let's go to history with Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, in today's history on October 26, 1918, Cecil Chubb, the last private owner of Stonehenge, gave the prehistoric monument to the British nation. Stonehenge was built in the Neolithic period in about 2500 BC as a joy temple, built by ancient Celtic pagans, though some people believe it was used as a burial site. This site is visited by nearly one million people every year. Did you know that a man named George Villiers dug a hole in Stonehenge just to look for treasure? I wonder if he found something interesting. Maybe there's a secret millionaire hiding somewhere. Now let's see what's cooking with Chanel. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, turkey ham and cheese sandwich, potato wedges, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Chanel. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, we are still calling on you for this quarter's instructional software challenge. Grades K through second, you will need 20 minutes weekly usage in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. And for grades 3rd through 8th, you will need 25 lessons passed in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. All grades need to complete this challenge by Friday, December 23rd. We know you can all do it. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. The school book fair is here, Patriots, and will end on October 29th. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet. Please look at the schedule to see when it's your time to go to the book fair. The Fall Festival, it's coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be lots of fun Halloween activities and the book fair will also be there. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on my school books. Make sure to buy your tickets. K-5, through the Barnyard Dance is this week. It's this Friday, October 28th and the entry price is $5. I hope to see you all there. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Aiden. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a warm 87 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies. Today's a great day for some fun outdoors. In other weather news, this new tech is truly going to change research forever. A new drone technology called the Mamba Arm was built to grab plant samples from some of the hardest to reach areas. In Hawaii, it's used to reach and pluck plant samples from 3,000 foot high cliffs in Kauai. Kauai is home to over 250 plant species not found anywhere else in the world. Some of these are also endangered. With the help of this drone, researchers are taking these endangered plants and growing them in a nursery. This is all done in an effort to help grow more. Let's go to Santiago for the birthdays. Thank you, Aiden. Today's birthday girl is Nia Moore. 
Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Santiago. Now let's check out some sports highlights with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Sports fans, our girls volleyball team went against Jewish Academy and won 25 to 11. Congratulations, girls. I knew you could do it. I would like to shout out our MVP for this game, number 20, Zariah Toussaint. She did five amazing serves and got points for all of them. Also, number 14, Angelie Walker. She got us the winning point. Let's not forget we might go to playoffs. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping we go. Let's not forget about our amazing, talented cheerleaders. You guys really brought the school spirit. Also, let's not forget about our boys' flag football team. We won 32 to 14. Great job, boys. I'm so proud of you guys. A big shout out to our MVP, Matthew Benjamin. He got us four touchdowns. And Jaden Williams with two kicks. That was a great way to end the season. Thank you, Melanie, and congrats to both teams. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents preserve yourself positively, a kindly towards others, choose the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And now for Tuesday's Daily Challenge winners. Congrats to Miss Arnold. You were the only one who had the correct answer to Tuesday's Daily Challenge, which was, if two's a company and three's a crowd, what are four and five? The correct answer was nine. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. What three numbers, none of which is zero, give the same result whether they're added or multiplied? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Your winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.